Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you to define your life as you want it to be. Define what success looks like for yourself. Define what happiness looks like for yourself. There are so many uh, avenues that tell you how to be, who to be, what you should do, what you shouldn't do in life. And honestly, who is anybody to say but self? See, along the journey, we'll always come against others' beliefs and ideas. And that's absolutely fine. It's not to say everybody must be in agreement. Not at all. But there's a certain kind of peace that you receive when you begin to define how you want your life to be or you define the gratitude that you have in your life. And in doing that, you're, you're able to receive others in a different light. You're able to offer more grace. More importantly, you're able to allow yourself to be open to learning about how others find their peace and their happiness without resenting you. The more we go along, the more we expose ourselves to different cultures, ideas, businesses, studies, ventures, what have you. We don't have to follow silver what we see. The beautiful aspect is the element of exploration. And I know for myself along my journey, being able to explore different, uh, different ideas and concepts and allowing those to play out in my life. I mean, it's been, it's been a, a lifesaver for me in a certain time. So I'll share this because I've come across past versions of myself who believed, uh, things that I just no longer accept to be true. And at times I will beat myself up for it. Now I'm simply grateful. I'm grateful for it all. Everything that I learned, the things that I haven't learned because I don't know it all by far. <laughs> by far. But it's simply a reminder to define what you want your reality to be. Define what gives you peace. Define what excites you. And be open to allowing that to come into your life and also allowing that to change and expand as you grow. Because in doing it so, you allow yourself to not get stagnant, to not uh, become a pillar of salt stuck in your ways. But you evolve with grace. And as you do that for yourself, you get to see others evolve in their grace. And it's a beautiful, uh, it's a beautiful place to be. That's not to say hard times won't fall on any of us because we're not impervious to that. But the understanding is knowing that we control what we deem to be satisfactory for ourselves. And no outside entity can tell us what that should be unless we give that entity the power. So trust that who you are. Believe in who you are. Follow your intuition. Follow your inclinations. Follow your beliefs and ideas. And allow those to be the guiding forces that allow you to evolve in the person that you are. But more importantly, do it because you want to. Don't do it because you think you have to. Until next time, be blessed. And please, don't forget to smile.